In this lesson, we will export data to an Excel workbook. I have a table of suppliers in my Access database that I would like to export to Excel. I'm doing this because I have coworkers that only work in Excel, or another reason I might be doing this is because I need to perform some complex calculations or analysis, and you may be more comfortable working in the Excel environment. So it's perfectly fine to take your data, export it into a different application, and then perform your analysis there. So from the external data ribbon is where you can perform your exports. So before I do the export, I'm just going to go ahead and close the table, then click on Excel from the export group of the external data ribbon. And the first item that the wizard would like to know is where you would like to perform the export to. Looks like this is going to the Documents folder. I would like mine on the desktop. I'm going to quickly email it to my coworker and then probably just throw it away into the recycling bin. So when I click Browse, I'll specify my file path by clicking on Desktop. And I'm going to change the file name so it says Current Suppliers. Once the location and name of your export's been established, you can click Save. We do want to work in this Excel format, but if you need to work in a different format, maybe an older format, you are able to downgrade to a legacy format. Down below, you have options to export the data with the formatting. You also have an option to open the file after the export is complete. I like that option. If you're performing multiple exports, you might not want this option, but if you plan on performing the export, opening up the Excel workbook, and confirming the export was executed properly, I recommend saving a couple steps by selecting this option here. Notice that you can export just selected records. Perhaps you've applied a filter. I'm going to click OK. And there it is. All of my data has been exported into Excel. The workbook is named Current Suppliers. And then I'm going to go ahead and close the Excel workbook. And it looks like I can save this. If I am performing exports weekly, so all of my coworkers know my supplier information, I might want to save the steps. I'll go ahead and click Save Export. One final step, I'll go ahead and minimize access. And then here is Current Suppliers, the workbook. And it will open independently as well. And this completes our lesson on how to export data to Excel.